Welcome back to another video. It is Sunday. We have a long weekend uh, this weekend. Long weekend as in a uh, three-day weekend, Columbus Day weekend. So we are yeah, just taking advantage of this nice weather that we've been having. Um, so lately we've had some nice temperatures, some cool temperatures. Um, I am wearing my rain jacket, but it's not because it's raining. It's because it helps to prevent the, the wind. Um, I actually feel like maybe I'm overdressed because it is cool out here. I do have my leg warmers, but I don't know if I really need leg warmers for today. So the ride that we're doing, um, I've done this a couple of times already. We are heading over to uh, the Bulls Bridge Climb where Jason is going to attempt a PR on the new bike. And yes, I get to ride with Jason again last weekend we didn't ride together because he had to work and so unfortunately um, I, I decided not to ride outdoors last weekend and decided to just do an indoor ride uh, on Zwift <laughs> One of the things that we're trying today is uh, we are trying to ride more in the drops and that's supposed to help with uh, speed and so we're testing that out to see if that works because um, we were watching the Dylan Johnson video and he talked about bikecalculator.com and how different position on the handlebars can affect your speed and your overall end time or whatever race you're doing. Of course, we're not doing a race, but uh, I'm just testing it out to see if it does make a big difference and also kind of getting my body used to that position. Um, I do one session of yoga, 20 minute session of yoga per week, and I think I'm fairly flexible. Um, you know, I, I don't know how my back is going to handle it, but so far I've been riding most of the uh, first part of this ride on the drops and it seems to be um, working okay. Well we're off to a good start today. It's a beautiful day. A uh, little bit on the cool side for now but I think it's going to warm up into the 60s Fahrenheit later uh, so it's still pretty comfortable and uh, keep us from overheating which is, is good. Today's ride is going to be about uh, 56 miles, uh, a little over 4,000 feet of climbing so it's a nice solid ride, um, will be the longest outdoor ride that I've done in a little while, um, but I think we've both kept our fitness levels uh, pretty high, so I don't think uh, there should be any problem uh, finishing the ride today. Uh, and we'll probably see a lot of foliage along the way. Back out here now and uh, really excited about it.
um, you wouldn't believe this, but Jason had a little, I didn't get this on camera, but Jason had a uh, little encounter with a squirrel that ran across the road, ran over it, but I think it ran off on its own. It looked to be okay, but that's what we're afraid of is these squirrels or chipmunks would run across the road and you don't know when they'll realize that there's something coming at them and they turn around. So that one, I think, lucked out. I think Jason may have slowed down a little bit. It got caught under the wheel and then it ran off. So I think it was okay. Jason's just putting battery in the camera. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going. We're here in Kent now and just uh, taking a nice little break. I had to change the battery on the on the cameras here and funny thing is I had the <laughs> look how soaking wet I am. It's from the oh gosh look at this. I didn't even realize it. So it's from the from the rain jacket that I was wearing. It was keeping the wind off of me and that's Therefore, it was nice and keep, kept me warm throughout the ride, except now it's a little too warm. And so uh, I'm soaking wet from it. But we have a climb coming up. It is the Bulls Bridge climb and Jason's going to try to PR the climb. So we're going to stop here, get a gel and then fuel up so that, you know, he can get ready for that climb. finished the Bulls Bridge Road segment. An old friend, one of my favorite climbing segments that we do. I went for a PR on it as hard as I could and I got it. But now my legs are blown up. I feel like I just did a ramp test pretty much. Total jelly legs. Here comes Joy on the descent. So, how hard did you go on it? I was almost, I almost PR'd it. So we just got done with the Bulls Bridge climb. Unfortunately, I missed the, uh, I didn't get the PR on that. Sun's glare. And so, um, but I, I, what happened was my excuse was that I couldn't shift the big ring sooner because I was up on an incline and so by the time I realized that I should have shipped shift it was too late and so I kind of had to spin um, but I was uh, not far from my previous PR I think I was like two seconds away from my previous PR and I felt like I really didn't go as hard on it and I, I, I still have to I can't seem to get a good reading on that climb because it goes up and then it flattens out a little bit a little bit and so I think that that's 
I keep thinking that that is the last part of the climb. And then I slow down and then I realize, oh shoot, there is another part of the climb. So um, I always do that with that climb, whatever. Um, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But Jason did very well. So guys, this has turned out to be a really nice ride. Um, the foliage, oh my God, it's like having these sunglasses on, it, it enhances the vibrance of the colors of the oranges, the yellows, and the bright green. So it's really pretty to look at. Um, we are here now on River Road in New Milford, and we are, we'll be uh, in about a mile, a little over a mile, uh, we'll do the next climb, which is Candlewood Road. So far, so good with riding on the drops. Uh, I don't have the average power or the average um, speed on my Wahoo setup, but Jason said we're uh, he's going at 14.4 miles per hour. So I'm not sure. I'm kind of lagging behind him each time, so I'm not sure if mine is going to be uh, around that or less, slightly slower. But either way, um, still feeling good. We are uh, 36 miles into the ride and we have about uh, 14 miles or so left to go, right? Um, yeah. Not that, yeah, four, wow, can't believe it. We're only 14 miles away from home. to our 44 miles into our ride now. Jason keeps getting these, um, I don't know, he thinks it might be this rub, but this is our last stop. So hopefully it's nothing. I didn't seem like anything was amiss with it. So might be something in his bag. Yeah, I keep hearing this uh, sound coming from somewhere on my bike, but the, the sound currently is like something jiggling so I don't know if it's actually the wheels it could just be something loose in my top tube bag um, yeah, the wheels seem to be aligned just fine so yeah hopefully no issues getting home from here mechanically <laughs> Okay, figured out the problem. I think it's the the Wahoo mount that's loose. It wasn't screwed in tight enough. One of the screws just came out. I thought I heard something when I was riding that I thought something loose, something came out. 
You're gonna have to go to like Home Depot to get the screws. Okay guys, we just uh, got home and uh, yeah, had a pretty good ride. Overall, it's uh, it was a really good ride and beautiful day. And Jason was average about 14.2 miles. So it has been, it is faster, slightly faster than what I normally would do. But I'm not sure if that's because I it's not the same type of elevation that I would normally do on a 50 mile or so ride. But um, I'm pretty happy with that and, um, you know, progress. I think I'm going to have an ice cream sandwich maybe. Yeah. We have both. We have a soft serve ice cream and ice cream sandwiches. Something with dairy and a lot of sugar is going to be in the tummy tonight. I also have a cauliflower crust pizza to eat. Mm, that's pretty good too. Yeah, he half of mine. And yeah, and Joy still has some left over from yesterday. So it's it'll be a nice dinner and actually this is it's nice that we still have a good chunk of the afternoon left. It's not too late. Um so Yeah, it's all, it's one o'clock. Yeah. We'll have time to digest our post ride shake or meal or whatever and you know, then have a nice dinner and yeah, that was that was that was a good ride. Good solid ride. Perfect weather. And a lot of fun. What more can you ask for?